So I think there's a couple of lessons we can learn from the Holy Family. I think a lot of times we forget that they were human and Jesus, Mary and Joseph were living daily family duties, right? So I, I was thinking about this the other day. I laughed because I thought it was funny. You might too, maybe not. But I was just thinking like Jesus wasn't perfect, right? He was hanging out with Jesus who is the son of God and Mary who is immaculately conceived. They had no sin. So I just imagine one day they're at dinner, you know, they're eating. Joseph's, you know, eating some, some grass fed steak, you know, and it falls off the plate and it falls on the ground and he says a bad word, right? And then he's like, sorry guys, I'm not perfect. And literally Jesus and Mary just kind of sitting there like, hmm, hmm, yeah. Like they're perfect, obviously. I can't imagine how awkward those experiences were. And the funny thing is, in our families today, none of us are perfect, right? All of us have fallen short of the glory of God. The family is the most necessary part of our human experience, really. And it gives life to culture and, and everything around us. And a lot of our families are broken and, and messed up and not perfect and so what could we learn from these two perfect people in St. Joseph who was fostering the, the Son of God? I think one thing we could love, learn is, is forgiveness. And the reason I say that is because I've met so many families, met so many people on the road traveling that have held in unforgiveness for a very long time, 20 years, 10 years, five years even, haven't talked to a relative, haven't talked to a cousin, haven't talked to a parent, and forgiveness is so crucial in the kingdom and Jesus told us to forgive. And I guarantee you when he told his disciples, you need to forgive 70 times, seven times, which really in scripture means an infinite amount of times. I bet it was being practiced in his daily life with Mary, with Joseph. So I wanna encourage you today, if there's someone in your family you need to forgive, please do it, life is so short. I was just at an event in, in Las Vegas and on this retreat, we're on this mountain and uh, a friend of mine, Scott, was, was about to, uh, enter us um, into adoration and, and gave us this, this practice that we did with the teens, right? It's called the boat. And essentially, there was a life raft that was gonna live. Everyone else on the boat was gonna die. The boat was sinking. And he's like, you guys gotta imagine the boat's sinking, four people are gonna live. What do you want your family to know before you die? And the first person kind of like nonchalantly does something funny and then the next kid was like, just tell them that I'm sorry and tell them that I love them. And then it just opened up the, I mean, every person in that room was bawling, crying, tell, tell my family I'm sorry. It was a lot of sorry and I love you. And so the other thing I want us to start to practice that we see in the Holy Family, I bet was said a lot was I love you. I mean, God is love. When we love, we best reflect the image of God. And so many people I meet as well on the road forget to tell people they love that they love them. I know it's weird. I know it's awkward, but Maybe we could start loving people and telling people and not just hoping that they know. So many times I've heard stories of, of spouses or siblings or families that they forgot to tell someone they love them and then didn't get a chance to say that again. And their regret is toxic. So I wanna encourage you today to, to forgive. There's so many situations that need forgiveness in our lives and it will bring about healing to our mind, body, and soul. I guarantee it. And the second thing we need is love. We desperately need love in this world. And if it doesn't start in our daily family, we won't be able to spread it anywhere else.